guys. So what we're going to go over today is a great rehab drill, great prehab drill, um, a great drill for uh, rehab of the low back, low back pain, disc injuries, building spinal stability, things like that. It's called the dead bug. Um, I'm not going to do it the exact way you'll probably see in in your physical therapy books and your chiropractic books. I'm going to add an instrument to my exercise. What we're going to add is the foam roller, um, and I'll show you how to do that. So first thing we're gonna do with the dead bug is we're gonna lie on our back on the floor. When you're on your back on the floor, next thing you're gonna do, posteriorly tilt your pelvis, okay? That way every bone of your lumbar spine is touching the floor, okay? Shouldn't be able to push my hand underneath at all, okay? Next thing you're gonna do while you're doing this exercise is you're gonna to touch your occiput or the back of your noggin onto the floor and tuck your chin, okay? You should be doing that throughout the entire exercise, okay? That way we're not straining our neck while we're doing this. With the foam roller, now what you're gonna do, put that foam roller right on your knee, and you're going to put this arm up in the air, right against the foam roller. What you're doing is engaging your core, your lats, your hip flexors, and you're trying to press through the foam roller, so trying to squeeze this foam roller and accordion it, okay? If someone were to come up to you while you're doing this exercise and smack that foam roller, they should not be able to move it. That's how engaged you are, okay? Next, we're going to put our legs and our arms in this position, okay? So arm above head, leg down. We're gonna focus on a deep diaphragmatic breath, breathing in and feeling our diaphragm drop down. Belly should get bigger because you're filling it full with, it, filled with air, your lungs are dropping. You're gonna brace your core, and you're going to go through the movement of the dead bug. So from here, while you're pressing with this, arms are gonna come up, legs are gonna come up, and then you're gonna drop them back down. That's one rep, okay? You can breathe again when you get back to this position. Deep breath in, feel diaphragm drop down, brace your core. And back down, that's another rep, okay? When you're done with your reps on this one side, then you're gonna obviously switch legs. So you're gonna hold the foam roller. Instead of in your left leg, you're gonna hold it with your right. And instead of your right arm, you're gonna hold it with your left, okay? Uh, every rep should be a perfect rep. You should be doing these with intention, especially if you're undergoing a back injury. Um, if your rep isn't perfect, that could be the difference between re-injuring or hurting your back even more or building stability and getting better. So the choice is yours really, but make sure every rep is perfect. Otherwise don't do it, okay? Um, another thing is if you're doing perfect reps, these should be hard, okay? It looks like an easy exercise. If you're doing it right and you're doing it with intention, you're really squeezing your core, you're really trying to squeeze the foam roller together, these should be hard. Um, 10, 10 reps, you should be, you should be getting a, uh, pretty winded. Uh, for a lot of people, 10 reps might be too much. Um, you may not be able to get to 10 with doing each rep perfect. So do what you can. If you start feeling fatigued and your form slipping, stop. You're done. Do the other side. Take a, take a breather. Take a rest. Go back to it later. Okay? Thanks, guys. That's the dead bug.